to quickly address the racial slurs and all of that, uh, we first need to look into the manner in which we are addressed. Number one, this manager, who just so happens to be white, totally arrogant. Now, he most probably think this is 1400 or 1600, where there were white supremacists, because his tone and his action speaks to a white supremacist. Unfortunately, this is a new Namibia. This is a dawn of a new Namibia, where we will not tolerate such white supremacist tendencies. The problem is, is that for far too long, we have thought that this country is independent, but unfortunately, the negotiations that freed these countries did not free us economically. And as a result, we have these white supremacists who still think that they can run and do as they please in this country. We went to Chita Cement. We asked politely the guards who were at site to say that we'd like to speak to management. The guards opened the door for us. We did not forcefully enter that premises. So for them to then allege that we are illegally trespassing, if your security guard who's at home allows me to enter your house, how am I trespassing? Trespassing on what basis? So as for the racial remarks, uh, I think this white boy must sit down and uh, he must stop being a crybaby. We are dealing with serious matters. We don't have time for crybabies. A black person can never be a racist. I've never racially discriminated against people telling them that they must move to Katutura or racially discriminated in terms of economic class. So a black person can never be a racist under no circumstances. Who are the people who said that certain people are allowed to go into a bus or certain people that door is only for blacks, that door is only for whites? I never did that. Have I ever done that? Who have I ever subjected to say that you, based on your color, you cannot enter the school, you cannot get this type of education? So these white supremacists, they must stop with their crybaby tendencies because we are dealing with real issues here. And as for him, we'll still deal with him because we are now have established fact that he's nothing but a liar and we'll ensure that that liar goes to prison because he said it that there are no illegal Chinese immigrants there. So if there are no illegal Chinese immigrants, why then were eight Chinese arrested today? And we have it on record and we have it on good authority that when the police went there that particular evening on Tuesday when we went to the visitation day, they only called 30 of the many Chinese that apparently most probably had documents or valid documents and the rest were kept in the tents or the hostel that they currently have there, Chita Cement. If we go there to Chita Cement, we should not even call it Chita Cement. We should call it China Home or Chinatown because the amount of Chinese that are there is worrisome. So they must stop being crybabies, especially this white boy. Uh, we'll still have to deal with him. But for now, we, we do not want to deal with crybabies. We want to deal with real issues that are facing our people. As for him, we'll, we'll most probably entertain him one day, but not today. Uh, your matter in terms of whether we're going to continue this posture and whatnot. Well, number one, we need to come to an understanding that the whole system has been captured from the Ministry of Labor to the Minister of Labor to the unions uh, the police obviously certain individuals are captured there. the whole system is corrupt as to say now when a system is rotten the only other manner that works is radicalism and this is what we are about as a party so we are going to radically go after companies that are going to continue violating our people's and basic human rights. And we make no apologies for our radicalism. And as for those who dare to defend the people who oppress our people, take note that you have also become our enemy. If you are an enemy of our people, then automatically you are an enemy of Namibia Economic Freedom Fighters. 
And by this, we simply mean and we simply say that there are those individuals, black, white, Chinese, or whatever nationality they are. Take note that if you dare to defend those who are oppressing our people, we will fight you as well. Whatever form that we use, obviously we will see what is within the confines of the law, and where the law, obviously, uh, the relevant authorities are failing us, then we'll see how to take matters into our own hands. Thank you. Yes. Often people confuse radicalism for vandalism. Yes. There is a difference between the two. Rac radicalism simply means that if the old way is not opening doors, yes. then we try a new way. We have failed over the last past 32 years. Our people still until today do not have land. Land still remains a key question in this country. Our resources still remain in the hands of a few. And why is that the case? It's because we've been trying this willing buyer, willing seller, willing, willing everything. Sometimes if things are not willing, then let us try radicalism. They, we did it once and things have started to move. Now, if we sustain and continue to do so, how many more working class Namibians are we not going to free? And this is a stern warning to all the companies operating here in Namibia that get your houses in order because if you don't get your houses in order, we'll come and sort them out for you. Is it perhaps any kind of working together with other movements who are also using the same approach? We, we, we have absolutely no issue working with anyone who wants to free the working class. The goal here is for us to attain economic freedom in our lifetime. How we achieve it, what modes of apprentice we use, that doesn't matter. You see, parties and all the political movements, we should move away from this individualism. Because if you can work with the following party, and the following party, you can work towards the common good of the people. That is what matters the most. The problem is, for the past 32 years, parties have been working in silos because the party president wants to sustain that one seat or two seats because of the benefits that they receive in parliament. We are not scared to lose our parliamentary seats. What we want here is to ensure that we free the working class and the poor of this country. Whether now we lose these two parliamentary seats that we have because apparently we are too radical or whatsoever, we do not care because ours is to free the people. That's all our concern.